Hey, it's Kimberly Crow with Celestial Juju. How are you today? Yeah. Can you feel the energies as the energies lifting? Venus went out of that retrograde and we are still integrating what value and beauty that she brought to us. And we've got um, Mercury wrapping up the week on Friday coming out of retrograde and a new moon on Thursday. So what are the insights and what's the integration that that came to you during this time period set into your inner reflection to integrate the new wisdom and how you're going to take this energy forth. That's what this week. So this week is all about the cosmos speaking in volumes to us as this Mercury moves out of retrograde waves goodbye and brings in the precision on the Virgo energies that combine with the yearning of deep relationship bonds and unfolds. So let's journey through the highlights of this. We have fresh beginnings coming to us with that new moon that's coming in on Thursday. So that energy is going to kind of have an overlay this whole entire week because it's going to grace us with this energy and it's going to be an opportune moment to declutter both your external and your internal worlds it isn't merely about tidying up your living space but tidying up the influence that you have with the energies and how to open and receive the energy of the jupiter the energy of the jupiter and and Uranus energy that's coming in. Considering organizing and being uh, with smart maintenance with your systems after the Mercury comes out of retrograde, be thinking about what, look at the reflection of what went haywire during this time period and how do you want to bring new systems and organization in uh, when we move into this because Uranus is uh, over technology. So it's good with, the energy it's going to be bringing up the energy of what you need to upkeep the clarity that will be coming in with the mercury going direct after the past three weeks might have felt like that we've been trying to read a book in a dim light and so this mercury retrograde coming out of this energy on friday is going to be about change and the mercury when it goes re uh, direct is going to be heralding in a clear communication. So if you've been holding off of making any deport, important decisions, waiting for the upgrade. So now's the time. Now's the time to make the decision. So with it being, because it's Mercury's going to be present in um, Virgo until October the 4th. So expect precision and efficiency in your endeavors. So um, dare to innovate soon after this mercury finds itself going forward with the stride and the sun and uranus form this harmonious harmonious trine sparking innovation you'll feel a nudge towards new a new venture possibly so heed to the call but proceed with due diligence while this uh, spontaneous acts are tempting and the wisdom lies in the balance of the actions, the balance of the actions. As we're integrating this new wisdom, Sunday, we may feel emotional tug of war because this week might end with a tad of um, turmoil energy. And maybe not. It may just be total like bliss and expansion for you. Venus and retro Venus and Jupiter in retrograde at odds with each other. They're going to be in the square against each other. So it may cloud your judgment and relationships could be tested. But remember, it's um, to ground yourself in the knowledge that you gained during this Venus retrograde that we just had. What did she bring to you about your own beauty, your own value, your self-worth? So trust in the deeper understanding of what your heart decides desires and navigate through the relationship place with this because um also in the mix there's a we've a we've got several asteroids that are bringing in the dynamics of the relationship so it's going to be transiting through the signs this week so there'll be an emphasis 
on self-love, mutual respect and relationships, and to call to prioritize your well-being and simultaneously nurture the deep soul connections of letting go of self-sacrificing habits. So as we move on to Thursday, Thursday, we can harness this new moon energy because Virgo is going to act as a beacon urging interperspective and grounded decision making especially in love and the retrogrades of the neptune and saturn in pisces will balance this energy propelling us towards karmic solutions and deeper understanding as the new moon this new moon precedes the energy of the equinox season so it's a gentle nudge from the universe align with their truth and re redefine from the purest intention and form that we have and with the precision that's coming in with this all being in um virgo oh so, these are the highlights for each day of the week the 11th the energy is gonna kick start under this is the moon energy under the leo moon so it's going to be a vibrant energy that encourages us to tune into our inner child our emotions run high especially from through midday okay that's midday pacific from 12 to 2. this is when that will be in that energy and the moon's going to form a conjunct then between venus so it's the planet of love but the word of caution, because by a late afternoon, we could be in a place of overspending and overindulging due to the challenge between the moon and the expansive um, Jupiter that's coming in. So the synergy with Jupiter may call for moderation and just be aware of that can bring the rewards to you. So on Tuesday, the fire continues to blaze in Leo and with remember that that's where Venus is right now too. So this is a day uh, will be dominated by the void. That's when the moon goes is in between signs. And so it's going to go in to that from um, for several hours during that during the day so especially with the mercury being in retrograde and the new moon on the horizon by the evening the moon trans will be transited into virgo adding a dose of practicality to our feelings so then on um so tuesday that the morning phase will suggest calm and then the evening will be stepping and grounding air Wednesday, the moon in Virgo brings a sense of order and discipline. By mid afternoon, it's it sees by mid afternoon by mid afternoon sees it forming positive angle with Mercury. Although Mercury is being still being in retrograde, but it's getting ready to come out of it. It's starting to slow down even the retrograde to turn into its direct motion. It's essential to. Uh, tread with caution especially in connecting with relationships and so the theme of the day on wednesday could be cautious with your relationships and your communications because there could be a ripple of this last two raw of this energy that is bringing the awareness to you when where are your lack in your communications and how can you of course correct that energy so on thursday it's going to be a powerful day as we step into that new moon energy and it brings in a new lunar cycle. So this new moon is going to form angles with the progressive Uranus. It's all about innovation, sparking innovation and urging us to break free from routines. New beginning under this Virgo new moon. So be prepared for unexpected turns with Uranus in place. So sit down with it. Plant your seeds. What do you want to bring in? Be, be bringing that in because this energy, this is the last new moon that we have before the equinox energy. So on Friday, Mercury is going to begin its direct motion, marking um, e the ease of communication challenges that you may have during this time period. So it's a time 
to inner reflect on that energy. So the moon is going to dance into harmonious Libra, fostering sociability and to be in harmony and balance is it steps into this energy. So it's going to be bringing that to us. And on Saturday, the, with the moon being in Libra, it's going to highlight fairness, balance, and brief encounters with the impatient Mars. That is the, that is the caution that could happen, could create, um, some stimulation in your social inner reactions and there could be a little bit of irritation during that time period but the justice of libra will prevail with the moon illuminating the energies of the emotions and what um is there so just look at the impatience do a breath and let it go okay so on sunday it may feel intense with the moon forming a stressful angle with nep with um, Pluto transformation. And it's going to be entering Scorpio, which is Scorpio's modern day ruler. So it's going to be mark this transition into going deeper with emotional waters. And so sudden Sunday could be emotional day of transformation. And uh, it's going to suggest diving deep into your emotional reservoirs and wrap it up because the journey of the interperspective and um, changes and the balance that you got during these retrograde time periods between the Venus retrograde, the Mercury retrograde, and Venus squaring Jupiter retrograde, and then, then the support of the energy with the Neptune Pluto retrograde in Pisces. So stay grounded, open your heart to the possibilities and to the lot of the universe that wants to bring new beginnings and to keep your, um, your gaze open because it's going to be a time to integrate the mystical with the practical that's what this conclusion of this week could is going to be all about possibility okay now we're going to move into all signs i am kimberly crow i am a western astrologer using hosan systems for this energy analysis so look at your rising sign you do have to know your birth time to know that your rising sign is what you came in to be the gift to humanity what you're bringing in to this plane of existence and what you're really here to integrate your sun sign is the day that you're born and it is the personality that you reflect out into the world it's your sun and then the energy that's reflected back to to you through your personality and the moon is your emotional IQ. Oh, the sun can also be authority figures in your life and father figures. The moon is your emotional IQ, how you emotionally um, relate in the world. And the moon also can represent mother, mother type issues in your chart. So listen up to all three of them. And there's people in your life that you know that have these. So listen it up and see what insights come to you through this. Through this. Okay, Aries, this week is going to be about harnessing the power of mindfulness for you. As the new moon in Virgo merges on Thursday, it prompts you to assist your well-being and habits with your well-being so the post mercury retrograde on friday clears distractions aiding focus and the venus and jupiter square on sunday pushes you to align confidence with values also with the jupiter's influence on finance it's time to take stock be cautious, reevaluate your worth and investments wisely, dive into work and health goals. On Thursday, aiming for clarity and streamlined approaches. Come Wednesday, love and relationships dynamics may take a spotlight for you. Embrace wisdom, encourage 
the energy to clear relationships and misunderstandings. And remember, Friday beckons the invitation um, at work. And your mantra for the week is clarity. That's the energy to look through. And, and when you get stumble, ask for clarity. Because this energy of embracing this mindfulness and the clarity with your endeavors, that's your takeaway. Your attention to detail, especially in your financial and in your finances and work, will guide you towards growth. Your personal perspective will strengthen your relationships and your, um, your energy early in the week will translate the opportunities by the end of the week. Okay. Taurus, the diplomat that you are, the energy and charm will be your allies during this time period in your professional settings. Embrace shifts in your perceptions of love, drawing strength from both past experiences and current aspiration. This week will be about prioritizing your home, your family, and your inner confidence, grounding intentions with practicality. Maintain your poise at work. Monday, as the week progresses, networking and uh, subtle self-promotion can be wondrous for you. Your connections with colleagues will be pivot, pivotal, pivotal, um, especially over the weekend. Go do any work social things over the weekend. And if you were thinking about not doing it, then shift your shift into doing it. <laughs> okay. Embrace more profound sense of love by Friday. You'll lean into a deep soul connections. And with the new moon on the 14th, there's a wave of gratitude that washes over you. Revisit old creative pursuits and cherish every moment. Taurus, the Jupiter's influence urges you to plan success. Be optimistic that Jupiter is in your house. Okay, be bold. On Thursday, vocalize your truths with confidence. The weekend is going to offer you a chance to reconnect with your roots. And your mantra for the week is cultivate. That's the energy for you. Cultivate. Okay. Gemini, new moon on Thursday signals a time for introspective and finding home within yourself. The Mercury retrograde ends on Friday. It's going to sharpen your communication, especially with expressing emotions. This week um, represents a chance of spiritual teaching and emphasis with others. Okay. Thursday is right for renewing your living space as your ruler. Mercury moves direct on Friday. And with the new moon on the 14th, it emphasizes the importance of present moment. Friday sees clarity in love, urgent vulnerability, and understanding in your relationships. This week begins outsmart the work challenges, engage in constructive brainstorming towards the week's end. Your home and your personal growth will be taken center stage this week. So embrace the present, letting go of the past and communication feelings with clarity. Your analytical skills will um, be sharp, but make sure to double check your facts in work settings embrace vulnerability in love for deeper connections gemini uh, okay dear cancers cancers we're going to commence the week with the wise financial decisions and choices impress in meetings midweek with your analytical skills however brace for potential tragic disappointments on friday okay wednesday's love horoscope brings balance in relationships for you so give love by prioritizing your needs okay the mercury's retrograde accumulation makes communication easier 
So challenge your energy towards meaningful dialogues. The new moon in Virgo on Thursday facilitates better communications with those around you, especially if you have siblings, if there's any siblings there or sibling-like people. Embrace Friday's post-retrograde energy and initiate conversations that expand your social uh, circle. The new moon on Thursday prompts a reflection and intention for setting effective communication while the weekend calls for financial brainstorming with friends. And your, this week's mantra for you is still. So when you start being too busy, call in the energy still. Okay. Prioritize your budget and your financial planning. Your analytical power will shine in meetings your personal relationships, balance of self-love are essential. Focus on the effective communication, recognizing the value of stillness and mindful inter- react, in, interactions, okay? Your local, uh, your local relationships can blossom with the proactive approach to this energy and with this insight, dear Cancer, Leos, this is a lively week awaits you, Leo. The Virgo new moon on Thursday urges you to uh, refocus your energies around core values, financial literacy. With the Mercury retrograde ending, you'll be inspired to scrutinize and elevate your financial decisions. Uh, As Sunday dawns, anticipate a significant professional shift that refines your perceptions of freedom. Meanwhile, the moon's presence in your sign invites creativity, joy, and personal pampering. A strong financial undertone persists, prompting you to reassess and streamline your spending habits. Remember that balance in love doesn't mean you compromise on excitement. The shifting of the stero- the of the asteroids into um, Scorpio is going to accentuate your family and foundational love. Professionally, you're in your element early this week, connecting the dots and making s- strategic moves. By the weekend, take a breather and indulge in romantic pursuits. So wrapping it up, your takeaway for the week is financial literacy is your superpower this week. Streamline your spending, focus on your core values, open up to love, both passion and stable. Professional growth is linked to understanding your desires. Okay, Virgo, this is your season to shine. Realign your health and identity and set realistic ambitions and ensure your actions echo evolving values. Embrace your personal growth and let it reflect on every facet of your life. The transformation that lies ahead for you with this new moon in your sign on Thursday emphasizes your health, identity, and personal intentions. After a period of interperspective and possible doubt, this week will bring clarity about your desires and direction. With the Mercury shifting from retrograde phase, you'll find forward momentum in your plans and rekindling your confidence. A sense of organization will guide you through your work week, accumulating potential rewards for recognition. However, by the week's end, ensure your ambitions remain grounded in reality. Wednesday is going to bring an emphasis on self-work and prioritizing realignment. 
Ensure that your actions align with your evolving values. So I did. Okay. Value is your word of clarity. Libra. A week of inter perspective and recalibration lies ahead. Thursday's new moon in Virgo urges you to consider closures and embark on journeys of healing and forgiveness. This is a crucial period to focus on mental and spiritual rejuvenation. Adopt practices like meditation or journaling to attune to your innermost feelings and aspirations. As Mercury ends its retrograde cycle, prioritize communication, especially around matters that have felt stagnant and or unresolved. Your love life takes center stage on Friday with the cosmos hitting, hinting at evolved perspectives and fresh approaches to relationships. Professionally, your insight early in the week offers unique perspective. But the week's in, remember to seek balance and collaboration. Should work creep into your weekend, ensure that you make space for some romance and some self-love. So interperspective is your key. That's your word for the week. Prioritizing healing, forgiveness, and spiritual rejuvenation. Your relationships are evolving. Embrace the newness. Ensure the balance in both love and work. And embrace challenge with your open heart. Scorpio, this week, your social life encourages revitalization connecting with old friends and reflecting on past experiences provides clarity a new moon on the 14th arrives reconsider your aspirations and the people you want by your side with mercury ending the retrograde soon you'll notice a boost in your social Interactions, prioritize genuine connections and trust the universe will align you with your tribe. Remember, Scorpio, healthy relationships don't stifle, but grow you in support. This week's mantra is allies. The week is all about reflecting on and refining your social connections, embrace support system around you but be ready to adjust your circle if needed look forward to renewed social charge and be open to genuine connections sagittarius sagittarius professional aspiration takes center stage for you this week As the new moon in Virgo approaches, it's time to visualize your career goals. Mercury's forward motion brings renewed ambition and clarity. It's crucial, however, to balance the bigger picture with the details. Embrace self-care. This will set the tone for how others treat you. As you navigate your professional paths, remember to uphold professional boundaries and aspirations. This week's mantra for you is rise. In your professional growth, as your stars rise and align for you, embrace a proactive approach to your career and remember to balance the big picture with smaller daily goals. Your communication skills are highlighted, ensuring that you make the most of any presentations or pitches. Okay. Capricorn. Adventure and expansion await you, whether through travel or education. Trust the journey and be confident in the choices that you make. Focus on balancing emotional needs with logic aspects in relationship. It's time to grow and discover both professional and um, both personal and professional spheres. The venture and the expansion will beckon you this week 
as this new moon energy comes in on the 14th, it's going to encourage you to travel further, furthering your education. With the Mercury's retrograde ending, your horizons are about to expand significantly. Recognize the importance of balancing logic with emotion and relationships, especially as Vesta enters into Cancer. We're throwing an asteroid in there. Emphasizing deeper connections. This week, take a leap towards broadening your worldview. And your mantra for the week is LEAP. Capricorn leap. Okay, Aquarius, dive deep into you personal truths and communicate them clearly. Intimacy and transformation are the, are your themes this week. Pushing you to be more vulnerable and authentic. Navigate changes at work tactfully and be open to building advantage advantages. How do you say that word? Connections. Connections that are bring advantages to you. Okay. So self-awareness is your theme this week. As the new moon rises, recognize and embrace your desire for truth. Allow Mercury's direct movement to facilitate clear communications, personal intimacy, and the mysteries of life will come into focus pushing you to understand your depth. This week, the Virgo's new moon prompts reflection on financial commitments. As you navigate through, remember to trust the emotional safety is vital to your genuine connections. And your mantra for the week is connect, collect, connect and collect. Okay. Be collective. Uh, Pisces, that is not changing. Pisces, Pisces, relationships are at the forefront for you. The Virgo new moon on the 14th is a prime time for clarity, desires in your relationships, be it personal or professional. Understand that your unique bond doesn't need to mirror others. Embrace the logic in love and with Mercury turning direct, the decisive moments are on the horizon. Whether it's about forging new bonds or deepening current ones, the week urges you harmony and togetherness. And your mantra for the week is together. So your relationships are your focus. And it's essential to embrace the balance and growth, whether single or coupled, the reflection on path relationships to learn, um, to clear space for new love. Financial attention is also needed as you're assuring to prepare for your future, dear Pisces. So as we wrap up the week, the takeaways and the highlights of the week is that new moon coming in on Thursday. Set your seeds. Use the innovative energy of the Uranus with that and bring in whatever it is that your freaky self came here to embody and plant the seeds for the future of humanity. And um, be blessed. With the communication skills that you that you brought forth during this time period of this Mercury being in retrograde. So so thank you. Thank you for coming to this planet. Thank you for embodying and being the gift that you are to all of those that you connect with. This this is Kimberly Crow with Celestial Juju. So like, share. Hit all of those buttons to make my numbers do whatever they are. So I will keep doing this in this time we call now. May you be blessed with a lot of the new moon as you're preparing for the fall equinox. Be blessed.